I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream! Do you have quail eggs or want to cook with quail eggs? Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get new ideas weekly. The day before you actually want to make ice cream, you have to check your manufacturer's instructions, but many of the ice cream makers require you to put your metal tin that the ice cream is made in in the freezer the day before. So make sure you don't forget that. In the previous video, we finished our saga of getting our quails to lay eggs. So now we're going to figure out what we can do with those eggs. We're going to be making a ice cream. Now, for us, with a son and a husband who are lactarded, meaning that they are lactose intolerant, it's really hard for us to have ice cream around the house because the lactose-free or the non-dairy ice cream is never on sale. It's always excluded. And so it's always full price and it's always very expensive. So I was looking for a good way to be able to make goat's milk ice cream. So this recipe is actually going to use goat's milk but you can substitute any milk that you want or what you have on hand or what you're using normally and this doesn't have to be straight from the goat this can actually be bought from the grocery store it's what we're going to be using all right let's get started for this recipe you will need three cups of goat's milk one cup of cream whipping cream 12 quail eggs, three-fourths cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, three ounces of baking chocolate. Ours comes in a one ounce square, so that was three squares. Step one, in a medium bowl, because you're going to need a larger bowl later on, you will combine 12 quail eggs with a half cup of sugar and beat them with a whisk until they are completely combined. Step two, you're gonna take all the rest of the ingredients and put it into your pot, and then put it on a medium heat and stir until all of the chocolate and everything is combined. So this is the tricky part. You can't add raw egg to a hot mixture. You won't like what comes out of it. So what you have to do is you take one cup of the hot mixture from the pot and you add it to the raw egg sugar combination. You're going to pour it in slowly and whisk as you're pouring it in until it's fully mixed together. Once it's mixed together, that raises the temperature of the egg mixture so that it doesn't cook in the pot, basically. You want it to be a part of the whole mixture instead of having basically weird poached egg particles in your pot. Now you can return the raw egg mixture to the pot once everything's been mixed together. So in step four, you're really going to get that arm workout. What you have to do is basically bring it to a medium heat and stir continuously with your whisk until it visibly thickens. For us, that took about 20-25 minutes of stirring. Slow stir straight across. Okay, now that your ice cream has thickened, take that metal container out of the freezer that we talked about earlier and pour your ice cream into it and then place it into the refrigerator to chill for at least three hours. And now it's ready for the ice cream maker. Set up your ice cream maker according to your manufacturer's directions. We're going to wrap the whole top in plastic wrap. This is to give it a nice seal, and we're going to place it into the freezer for about two to three hours, and that will ripen the ice cream, and then it'll be ready to eat. Okay, so I've made ice cream, but is it actually worth it? So for me, we have to take the pint by pint. So if I went to the grocery store, I would spend $9.50 on a pint of goat's milk ice cream. So that's the number to beat. We spent $2.10 in milk, $1.96 in non-dairy cream, $2.01 in eggs, 14 cents in sugar and vanilla. It was so negligible that I combined them. 84 cents in baking chocolate. And this is one thing that people forget a lot about. 
the ice cream maker itself has to be included because you spent money on it. And tooling up is part of the equation. The ice cream maker amortized if I were to make one batch of ice cream once a month for a year is 83 cents giving me a grand total of $7.88. $7.88 beats the $9.50 it would cost me at the grocery store to buy the same ice cream. Additionally, the ice cream that we make, we can actually get the flavors that we want. If I make, if I grow huckleberries in my garden, then I can actually make a huckleberry ice cream that is made with real fruit or strawberries or anything else that I can get locally um, here where I don't always get those ingredients or those flavors in the store-bought ice cream and the added bonus is how do the kids like it okay now for the kid test mm, it's yummy I agree it's yummy